Hello Taurus. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're connecting with on a romantic level. The person you're wanting to connect with romantically. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. This reading is meant from mid-January to the end of January 2021. But keep in mind, time is fluid. And so some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you may be going through this right now, or this may happen in the far future. First card just came out. Death and Rebirth. This is from the Goddess Oracle Deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Followed by doubt. And then we have hearth and home. After hearth and home, we have opening. Then we have abundance. Crossroads. Followed by grief. Wow, Taurus, this person is so emotional. They're really going through a lot of emotions. All right. Now, we have here death and rebirth, doubt, Hearth and home, opening, abundance, crossroads, grief, relationship. And then we have power under the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Taurus, There are things that have happened between us in the past. Certain things that should not have happened the way that they did. Things were very out of sync, out of harmony. And now I've come to the realization that things should not have been the way that they were back then. That was not right. I want to put to death what had happened. I want to put it to sleep. I want it to fade away. I don't want to talk about it. Because I want a second chance with you. I've thought long and hard about this. Many nights have gone by and I've thought about the second chance. Having it with you. Having a rebirth with you, starting something new, something fresh. But I'm having doubts that this might even work because of all the things that you and I have gone through. I do feel that we've been through a lot. And I don't even know if you're going to give me a second chance. I do feel that you are my hearth and home. 
You may have felt that I'm very distant, but I'm not. Wherever you are, that is where home is. You provide me with comfort, with love. So many things that I don't get from the outside world. Everything is so comfy, so comfortable, so cozy and warm. Like a warm blanket on a cold day. I want to open up to you. There's certain things in my heart and my mind that I have kept to myself and I have not shared with you. And I do feel that now is the time for me to gain the strength and actually do this. Because there are things that I've hidden. Emotions and feelings I never opened up about. With you, I do find the sense of abundance. I can grow with you. I can learn in life so many things. Just knowing that you're there. I do feel a sense of abundance. I can gain things from you, wisdom. I feel secure with you. I have now come to the point in my life where I realize that this relationship, we are at a crossroads. I find myself in a place where I have to make a decision. Should I be with you or should I not be with you? Not being with you, the thought of it, breaks me to the core. It breaks everything. I grieve, I feel sorrow, regret and remorse. I don't want to go on thinking that you will not be in my life. I need you in my life. I know there's many things that have happened between us. There's certain things that I have said and done that I should not have. And there's certain things that I should have said, should have done and I just didn't. And I hold you high, like a bright star in the dark sky, because all I see is you. I've hurt you. And by hurting you, I have hurt myself. And I realize that all I want is a long-term committed relationship with you. I have thought long and hard about this. I see how you are with others, and I like what I see. I know you are a very nurturing, compassionate person. This is something I need and I desire in my life. Overall, I do feel you have this sense of power over me, where you are able to make me feel vulnerable, to make me feel weak in the knees. You have this way of tempting me and seducing me even though you don't even have to try. It comes very natural. And even though I want a second chance with you in this connection, I'll try my best. My best might not be enough. And even if I try, I'm still doubting. Is this even going to work? Which is why I feel like opening up to you. Right, Taurus. Wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> There's so much going on here. <coughs> 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 
sorry guys <coughs> oh my heavens um all right now that that's over something really bad happened in this connection where like there was a lot of pain and this person now is regretting they want to they want a second chance and they're making this choice and what's unique about your reading is that they know they have to make a choice but they also know if they don't make a choice having you in their life that's actually going to make them sad so i don't even know why they're making a choice if i mean that's not even an option having you as a choice is not even an option because as soon as they're thinking about it it's breaking them apart okay I'm going to have a look at the beginner's tarot deck. This will show us any type of plans, any intentions, any actions that this person is going to take towards you. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes. That second chance? Yeah, they're totally going to take it. They're ready to be with you already. They're very much in love with you. You are their sunshine. You are their hope. Oh, my gosh. You are their hope and joy. They want to grow with you. They want to have something long-lasting because you are their sunshine. And look at this the lovers. Remember that choice, that crossroads? This truly could be um, a choice between you and someone else. The other person might be someone who has been in their life for a long time, or it might be someone they just met. But this is another individual, and they have to make a choice between um, the person. Now, I don't think that this is in the way a third party. Um, it is an individual though. Oh my goodness. Wow, Taurus. These cards are beautiful. Hope it stays that way. Nine of Cups. Oh my god, this is like a really good reading. Um, two major arcanas and then you have the nine of cups you are definitely what they wish for they are wishing for you so badly and they have made their decision that you are what they want you are who they want so yes when they had a crossroads card yeah there was a reason to make a decision because there's more than one person in their life and they're choosing you We have an extra card coming out here. Oh, my. Wow. Taurus. There are, to there are so many intense feelings in this connection. It's off the charts. I mean, this person may even be taking antidepressants. That's how bad the situation is now. Some of them have had a lot of psychological issues to the point where they are not able to even think straight anymore because they're so depressed and stressed. There's a lot of anxiety. And with this, you also end up building up negative energy. Okay. Um, yes, this person wants to be with you. They're making a choice, and the choice is you. They may come off as someone who is not so um, cute and cuddly in the beginning. They are literally in their masculine energy and they want to take care of you. This could also be a female. Females have masculine energy. Um, but that side of them, that is more of a leader, problem solver, um, you know, straight cutthroat to the point, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
this person's really going to express themselves to you and you may not even think that this person is in love with you. <laughs> Let's just say they're in love with you to the point that they're just very serious. They are serious. They're not joking around anymore. They want you and they're just not wanting to joke around about that situation anymore. You will see that they're going to be very serious. It almost might make you feel intimidated or uncomfortable. But understand that the only reason they're coming towards you, it's because this person's in love with you, completely in love with you. They will approach you in this manner, more in the masculine energy, um, kind of cold, um, aloof, a bit distant. Um, however, and that's not to say that masculine energy is just like that, but then you have the feminine energy too, right? Which is more nurturing. Men have that as well. Women have that. Um, but this person's going to come off as cold and distant. But that's not the case. On the inside, they're a very soft marshmallow that one would just want to cuddle with and devour. <laughs> then you have here King of Pentacles. This person has thought long and hard about the connection. And they want to actually take care of you. They want to provide you whatever they can so that you can be comfortable for the rest of your life. Wow, with this person. They want to make you happy. And it's breaking them every single night because they know they've hurt you so much. Nine of Swords. They can't sleep at night knowing what they've done. This is, oh my gosh, anxiety. Sleepless nights, crying oneself to bed. Putting your head in your hands and saying, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? Why did I do it? This is the feeling that this person's having and it's a repetitive pattern. They can't stop thinking about it. And the more they think about it, the more they want to be with you and apologize and just make everything go away and make things better. This person is grieving. There's anxiety. There's depression, a lot of depression a sense of hopelessness, not being able to think straight because there is so much tension in the mind. Now guys, when you have this, definitely, I mean, in comparison to the Sun card, the Lover's Nine of Cups, this card, it looks so out of place, but the reason why this individual wants to do all this and provide you with a lot of love and affection, it's because they are going through regret and sorrow and they know what they did was wrong this is exactly why in your reading they want a second chance oh my goodness taurus you have to tell me your stories um in the comments below definitely because this is something huge something major happened here oh a lot of heaviness Actually, we did have a card here that came out. There you go. <laughs> oh my. So befitting to this connection. Nine of staves. Nine of staves. So this is the Lover's Path Tarot, and I'm looking into the reasons why this person is not connecting with you right now. We'll look into what it is that they're feeling that's holding them back. The Nine of Staffs does talk about avoiding responsibility and pausing before going forward. This person is feeling very overwhelmed by work, by responsibilities, by burdens and things that are in their life right now. They're overwhelmed, so they can't think straight, and nor can they actually bring their energy towards you. But remember, they do want a second chance, and that's what they're aiming for. They feel that it's need for them to take a break and to take some time off and rejuvenate, recollect everything that they can in their mind, and just feel normal again. 
They're not feeling normal. Right now what they're doing is they're denying any type of responsibilities that they may have to be undertaking. Under the bottom of the deck you have Eight of Cups. Here we talk about this person wants to take a leave of absence from life. Can you imagine? What is that like? Taking a leave of absence from life. That's just basically us trying to go to a retreat, a spa. Let's just forget about the world. Let's just hear some music and just relax. This person's feeling very overwhelmed and they need this. Leave taking, disillusionment and transitions. This person does feel that it's time to move on and there's need, there's a need for more substance in life. Whether this would be a more satisfying relationship or finding out that this connection, does it have more substance? Is it more practical? Is it authentic? It is. Taurus. This person is coming to the realization that you are the person for them. This is what they feel. They didn't think of this before, but now they are. What the issue here is, they have been lingering too long in a difficult and superficial situation. Whether this is with you or the situation they are stuck in. They have been lingering too on. They have not taken action. But now they're thinking that maybe it might be too late to come into your life again. They're having doubts. There is uncertainty about this relationship and another relationship, whether they should stay or leave. They are having doubts. So you see, this is actually a card that comes before the previous reading. They're having doubts, but what we did see in their actions, plans, and intentions, they are wanting to come forward to you. They've already made that decision, and you are what they decide on. So this definitely is something that they were thinking in the past, even in the present, but they're starting to let go of this. Okay. Now we have here Doreen Virtue's Angel Answer Cards. All right, we have Listen to Your Intuition. <clears throat> now these are guidance cards for you. This these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Then we have here helpful people. The situation will improve. Helpful people. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's, I must say, this is pretty amazing. Very strong, very nice. And this is divinely guided, guys. This is a divinely guided romantic connection, spiritually. Then you have here opportunity. And after opportunity, let's see what you have. Within the next few weeks, oh my goodness, you even have a timeline. Now, within the next few weeks, keep in mind, guys, time's fluid, right? So this just basically means in the future, this is going to happen. Okay, so you may think that life will be like this with this person. No, the situation is going to be better. It's going to improve. What the angels are saying here that listen to your own intuition, you will be divinely guided because this is a divine connection. This is a spiritual connection. What I see here is the angels are saying listen to your intuition. Now when you listen to your intuition, you will start to realize that things are going to start to improve. This connection is going to start to improve. 
they would like you to be with some helpful people. This could be family, friends. This could be you going online, learning about certain things in relationships. But it does talk about not thinking and stressing over this by yourself. It talks about you reaching out to others and seeing what other people have experienced and learning from their experiences so that you don't have to make any mistakes. You'll be perfect at what you do. Romance. This connection is divinely guided for sure, 100%. This particular deck only has one card regarding spiritual romance. It's a pretty big deck. You got that card. And I could tell with the way these cards were coming out, there's so much passion, there's so much regret and sorrow that this person's soul is hurting. They do want you to wait. Because when you wait, this person's going to start to miss you. They will realize your value. They will want to come back into your life bigger and better than what they were before. But the reason is because they're going to be afraid of losing you. So wait it out, okay? Don't contact this person. Let this person contact you. There is going to be an opportunity afterwards. And this may occur within the next few weeks or even the next few months. There's something better than the situation that you're in right now. Yes, this is going to be improving. And you will get helpful people in your life that you're going to be listening to, maybe even on the internet, um, YouTube channels regarding relationship videos, expert coaches in relationships. So after you gain a little bit of this information, you're going to be a bit more enlightened. And so when the opportunity comes, you will be able to handle this opportunity. You'll be able to find that spiritual romance with this individual. And Taurus, that is your message. Wow. That is a very strong message. Um, you had so many cards that came up in regards to love and romance. And yes, this is. You guys are either twin flames, soulmates, or karmic partners. But you have had a past life together. those of you who may be interested, I do past life readings. But I only recommend that you contact me if you truly, truly feel that you cannot stop thinking about this person, no matter what you have done. And I'm not talking about a year, I'm talking about a few years, you know, many, many months have gone by where you have this strange obsession where you can't stop thinking about the person, you can feel their energy, for example, you feel sad when they feel sad energetically. So when you have this kind of psychic connection, yes, there is a connection between you spiritually and your souls would have met in a past life. So if you wish, you can reach out to me um, if you have this type of a connection. If it's just simple and you know it's just about lust, if you know it's just about infatuation, then no, that's a totally different story. That's short term. Here, this is someone who you're connecting with romantically that goes above and beyond this lifetime. And it would be very interesting doing a reading. Let's see where, what time frame you were from and where you were. It's very interesting when I get into those readings. All right, guys, let me know if this resonates for any of you and uh, reach out to me at my email address. It's actually on the bottom of um, the description. You will see my email address as well as on the top of the banner. As soon as you go to my channel, I have it right on the banner. So you can't miss my email address. All right. Okay, guys, you take care and stay safe. And I will see you next month. Bye now.